you got to visit the Hampton House and the yeah, family yeah. in Maywood. Um, what was that experience like for you? It was definitely, it had so many, so many levels to it. One, I was, I remember sitting there, we spoke to them for over seven hours around the table. Wow. Yeah, and I remember sitting there at one point being like, Dominic, do you realize where you are? You're in the house that Chairman Fred Hampton grew up in. Can you imagine? And you're talking to his wife and you're talking to his son, right? This is, this is, I, this is beyond what I could have imagined. I had started learning about the Black Panther Party when I was in the BSU, uh, Black Student Union at Pace University and reading uh, and watching the, the Black Power mixtape and learning a little bit more. And so I always had an, an affinity for Black history and the Black Panther Party even before that, but I never got to delve deep into it, but I always knew Chairman Fred's name and I knew that Mama Okua, formerly known as Deborah Johnson, showed his body. And so to sit here and be like, wow, you're here and you're and Dan Cooley is right next to you and Charles King is right next to you, Ryan Coogler is on the phone. Like, like this is this is happening. You're a part of this magical experience. That's what it was like. And then Chairman Fred Hampton Jr. went said he wanna go around the table and know why every single one of us wants to do this film. So that was a bit intense. And I was like, well, I'm nervous. <laughs> you know, then Mama Kula, then Mama Kula put Daniel and I to the side. And um, Dan and I explaining why, what our approach to character development. And I remember she, I said something about spirit, like moving through me. And she said, what if my spirit don't mess with your spirit? And I was like, oh, <laughs> didn't have said that. You know, but I kind of sensed that she was kind of like my grandmother in that way. I didn't, I wasn't afraid. I, I understood was coming from so I gave her a hug and I said I hope you know my heart and she said I do I just had to give you a little bit of a hard time mm -hmm. uh, yeah. well because I can imagine for her th this is something that's not normal I guess for for people who live these stories right to see someone embodying a role and kind of reinterpreting exactly kind of what they went through so in conversation with Mama Akua how did you navigate that and how was she receptive to there was things that we learned from them that we just wouldn't have known. Um, but Mama Core really allowed me to develop the character the way I wanted to. She really was hands off in that way. She only said two things in the beginning. She said the Panthers were very po uh, very disciplined and um, they, they, they didn't speak out of turn. And there's just some things she wouldn't have said to Chairman Fred that I say in the movie. Mm. Um, I couldn't really understand that because she's so fiery. She says whatever she's on, on her mind. And I was like, just this little thing she's saying she wouldn't say? Yeah. But it allowed me to, to say, okay, how can I approach these words differently? What strikes me about this story is how young Fred Hampton and Mama Akua actually were when all this was going on. Like, I'm, I'm 29. Uh, you know, you're young as well. I can't imagine doing what they did at 21, 22 years I old. Mean, yeah, I mean, that was one of the things, too, that Danny and I focused on in the intimate and quiet moments. We wanted to make sure that we saw their youthfulness. Yeah. So in that, that scene that we call the Malcolm scene when they first like kiss or whatever, that was really important. Like he's this powerful guy when he gets on the stage and he can say whatever he wants, but in private, he's a bit shy. And what do you say when you want to kiss somebody, but you don't know, like, you know, that's the, that's the fun about being youthful and young. Every moment that we got to share with them to have joy and laughter, we tried to put it in there. 